Hello, Tim from Fair Play now on the 15th of December 2021. And this is the first full day of a radically different and not brilliant England uh, following the vote last night. But keep on watching this video. It's not all doom and gloom. I have got a little bit of uh, good news to share with you at the end. And I think it will put a smile on your face. But let's get the bad stuff out of the way, first of all. So, as I say, we're waking up to a totalitarian England and UK as a whole, although the other countries are um, some way ahead of us here. And yeah, it's a bitter blow. I, I did have some faint hope that we would be able to kind of avoid the big V passports, but uh, sadly it was voted in. Uh, I think the one good bit of cheer that we can take is that there was a big Tory uh, rebellion, sort of 99 MPs of their MPs voted against it and I think there was sort of 20 odd from the other parties as well. So I think it was a total of, of about 126 against. And it's a, a small kind of percentage compared to the sort of number of overall MPs. But I think what it will mean is, well, with a bit of luck anyway, is that the government and Johnson will sort of think twice with a bit of luck before sort of imposing even more draconian things. I think they've already been forced to take um, kind of mandated big Vs completely off the table, for instance, and one or two other concessions like that. And so it's not all bad news. Looking through the news, uh, news feed on my YouTube, well, the mainstream misleadia are full of it today. They're really ramping up the whole Omicron scary and nonsense. Uh, 60,000 new thing that rhymes with faces but starts with C. Uh, you know, just in one day alone as these things, these inc incidences, surge and headlines like that so it really does feel like this time last year where they are angling to kind of get us back into uh, lockdown and another bit of uh, news that kind of confirms that is apparently the furlough scheme is back on the cards uh, as well I've heard from one source and of course not having that on the table would make lockdowns more difficult to do and get more pushback but if that's back in again uh, well it kind of removes a hurdle so it's not looking sort of great you can tell that they are angling for another lockdown uh, whether kind of the rebellion last night is enough to make them think twice on that uh, if they get a bad result in the by-election that's happening tomorrow in Shropshire, I think it is, uh, they will perhaps again think twice about taking things any further for now anyway. But I think what we've got to realise now is that this government just isn't on the people's side. You know, clearly they're not in favour of liberty, clearly they're not in favour of bodily autonomy, and we just really need to start, yeah, regardless of whether another lockdown comes in or not, we need to start thinking about how we can live our lives sort of independently of the kind of... Uh, sort of mainstream society really uh, certainly uh, separate from the government 
we'll have to start looking into and I have made a start and looking into some of these things kind of uh, sort of forming little communities of like-minded people that we can perhaps sort of deal with and what have you things like that and using various ways and means to kind of fight back push back and hopefully eventually thwart these restrictive horrible restrictive measures that the government just seems hell-bent on foisting upon us and uh, keeping on foisting upon us in the kind of uh, uh, as far as lockdowns are concerned so there is always going to be ways and means around these things so sort of take heart and I think more and more people are sort of waking up and the one good bit of news okay I know it's only a small bit of good news compared to all of the heavy stuff going on right now but as I said earlier I think it's still going to put a little bit of a smile on your face and that is well a couple of days ago I recommended a song for you to see uh, we are the 99% I'll put the link to it in the comment section and the description box uh, for you in the description box and the comment section below there. Um, but get this, on Amazon Music, that is currently number one ahead of uh, Ed Sheeran and Elton John's uh, song. So that is incredible, isn't it? And kind of a few other signs as well um, the fact that that's number one currently and the fact that my viewers and, and subscribers are sort of surging ahead and it seems to be the case with other people as well like-minded people to myself um, you know Carl Vernon's uh, subscriber base seems to be surging uh, the guy I kind of recommended a few days ago, Lee from Veritas Vincent Channel, I, and I just had a look and uh, uh, his, the number of his subscribers has pretty much doubled in just the last uh, sort of three or four days, in, incredibly. So that means that uh, if you take these factors together with the fact that that's uh, number one, the 99% uh, songs number one on Amazon, it means there is a lot of people kind of uh, awake now and I think a lot of them, a good percentage of them, will be people who were kind of um, with the mainstream narrative this time 12 months ago, six months ago, three months ago, maybe even a month or so ago and the fact that these things are happening I think is a sign that more and more people are starting to get highly uh, aggravated shall we say and so I'm going to end it on that positive note so great news that 99% is at number one and just one last thing I know some people won't like me mentioning this but you can download it from Amazon uh, I know that's kind of like giving money to the enemy as it were almost but it's uh, also giving money to the Daz band and wouldn't, wouldn't it be amazing and right old kick in the teeth of the globalists if this anti-globalist song was Christmas number one <laughs> and that would be uh, a great thing and the fact that you're using the you know their platform to make that happen as well would be um, something pretty good as well but I'll leave it up to you whether you want to download that load that off of Amazon and sort of try and get it to number one or whether you just don't want to touch Amazon with a barge pole you can still kind of see it for free um, with my link below so with that cheerful thought I'll leave it there. Back tomorrow. Tim from Fairplay now. Thanks for watching.